Today we're going to look at the addition strategy of incrementing. Now in another video I showed you how to increment using a number line. But there's other ways that you can show this. Incrementing again means that we're going to take the problem piece by piece. We're going to add this 347 plus 376 in small chunks that are easier for us to add at a time. So one way to look at this is just by adding the numbers piece by piece. I can add these numbers first by taking this 376 and breaking it into its expanded form. 376 in its expanded form is the same as 300 plus 70 plus 6. Now these make for easy increments for me to add 6, 70, and 300 because I only need to worry about one place value at a time. And so now I can add my numbers. I'm going to take my 347 and I'm going to add 6 to it. It's a lot easier than adding the entire thing all together. 347 plus 6. 7 plus 6 is 13. If I take three ones and I have to regroup the 10 ones into a 10, 1 plus 4 is 5, and I'm left with 353. Now that I have 353, I'm going to take that now, and I'm going to write that a little bit nicer, 353, and I'm going to add 70. Three plus zero is three. Five plus seven is twelve. So I'm going to put two in the tens place, and my ten tens becomes a hundred. One plus three is four. So now I have four hundred and twenty-three. Now I have four hundred and twenty-three, and I'm going to add my three hundred. Add my 300. 3 plus 0 is 3. 2 plus 0 is 2. And 4 plus 3 is 7. So in the end, I end up with 723. The only thing I need to make sure when I increment is to make sure that I've added the entire 376. And I can tell because I've added 370 and six.